Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at a couple things. One, the very first uh, video arcade game called uh, Computer Space, created in 1971 by Dave Nutting and Associates, but also, this is my 1200th YouTube video. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And as is uh, common with every 100th video that I do, we're going to go back in time to the year of the game in the video that we're going to see here, and that is the year 1971. So uh, we're going to hop in the Crazy Climber 80 DeLorean and go back to the year 1971 and look at movies, music, news events, etc. And let's start with news events. A collapsing stairway at a soccer match in Glasgow, Scotland kills 66. The U.S. begins banning radio and TV cigarette ads. Idi Amin becomes the president of Uganda after deposing Milton Obote. Charles Manson and three women of his family are found guilty of murder. The Apollo 14 lands on the moon. The NASDAQ Composite Microprocessor debuts. The U.S.-backed South Vietnamese troops invade Laos. A landslide in Peru kills 200. U.S. Lieutenant William Colley is found guilty in the My Lai Massacre. 22 were killed. He is sentenced to life in prison, but later pardoned. Starbucks is founded in Washington State. The People's Republic of Bangladesh is formed. 500,000 in Washington, D.C. and 125,000 in San Francisco protest against the Vietnam War. The city of Burdur, Turkey is mostly destroyed by an earthquake. Over 1,000 are killed in an earthquake in Bengal, Turkey. The Israeli ambassador to Turkey, Ephraim Elrom, is kidnapped and killed. The crew of the Soyuz 11 Soviet spacecraft dies after boarding the first manned space station, the Soyuz 1. U.S. President Richard Nixon declares a war on drugs. The concert venue, the Fillmore East, closes. The 26th Amendment passes, lowering the voting age to 18. A coup attempt in Morocco leaves 186 dead. The King's Palace is retaken by the King's troops. All Nippon Airways Boeing 727 crashes with a fighter jet in Japan and 162 die. Race riots erupt in Camden, New Jersey when police beat a Puerto Rican to death. The concert for Bangladesh is held in New York City. A Boeing 727 crashes near Juneau, Alaska. All 111 die. 42 die in a maximum security prison revolt in Attica, New York. A cyclone in the Bay of Bengal kills 10,000. Walt Disney World opens in Orlando, Florida. Greenpeace is founded. Khmer Rouge forces attack Phnom Penh Airport, killing 44. The number of U.S. troops in Vietnam drops to the lowest since 1966. A bridge in construction in Rio de Janeiro falls over and kills 48. D.B. Cooper hijacks an airliner for 200000 in ransom money. 
He is never caught. This was over Washington State. The Montreux Casino burns down during a Frank Zappa concert. And the song uh, Smoke on the Water uh, talked about the event. Uh, fire at a hotel in Seoul, South Korea kills 158. And the Indo-Pakistan War of December 1971 ends with the fall of Dhaka. Now let's look at celebrity deaths of 1971. Coco Chanel, Louis Armstrong, Jim Morrison, Nikita Khrushchev, Audie Murphy, Igor Stravinsky, King Curtis, Edie Sedgwick, Ubby Works, Dwayne Allman, Motorcycle Crash, Pierre Angeli, Gene Vincent, and Michael Rennie. And now let's look at number one songs of 1971. Continued from 1970, My Sweet Lord, It's Too Late, Joy to the World, Maggie May, One Bad Apple, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart, Indian Reservation, Knock Three Times, Me and Bobby McGee, Just My Imagination, Brown Sugar, Want Ads, You've Got a Friend, Uncle Albert Admiral Halsey, Go Away Little Girl, Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves, Theme from Shaft, Family Affair, and Brand New Key, and other big hits of 1971. One Toke Over the Line, Put Your Hand in the Hand, Take Me Home Country Roads, Treat Her Like a Lady, Mr. Big Stuff, Do You Know What I Mean, What's Going On, Ain't No Sunshine, Signs, The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down, She's a Lady, Help Me Make It Through the Night, If You Could Read My Mind, Superstar, Rose Garden, Here Comes That Rainy Day Feeling Again, Mr. Bojangles, Dragon the Line, Proud Mary, Beginnings, Sweet City Woman, Another Day, If, Mercy Mercy Me, Me and You and a Dog Named Boo, I Just Want to Celebrate, Wild World, When You're Hot You're Hot, I Hear You Knocking, Won't Get Fooled Again, The Wedding Song, I am I said Riders on the Storm One Less Bell to Answer Stairway to Heaven not released as a single and Love Her Madly Now let's look at TV show debuts of 1971 Starting with the classic All in the Family Sunny and Cher Comedy Hour Masterpiece Theater Columbo Macmillan and Wife, The NBC Mystery Movie, Cannon, The Electric Company, Lidsville, Game Show 3 on a Match, The Cat in the Hat TV Special, Celebrity Bowling, In the News Segments, Make a Wish, Soul Train, <laughs> Great Show, The Pebbles and Bam Bam Show, Sports Challenge, and the British British music show The Old Grey Whistle Test. Now let's look at movies of 1971. Starting with Fiddler on the Roof, French Connection, Diamonds Are Forever, Dirty Harry, Carnal Knowledge, Summer 42, Last Picture Show, Clockwork Orange, Billy Jack, Willard, 
Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song. Sunday Bloody Sunday. Clute. The Hospital. The Go Between. Shaft. Garden of the Finzi Contini's. THX 1138. The Andromeda Strain. Vanishing Point. The Beguiled. Escape from the Planet of the Apes. McCabe and Mrs. Miller. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Tulane Blacktop. The Omega Man. The Last Movie. Play Misty for Me. Black Beauty. Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Harold and Maud. Straw Dogs. The Abominable Dr. Fibes. Brian's Song. Duel. Get Carter. And The Big Boss, or Fists of Fury. Well, now let's look at Sports of 1971. Super Bowl V, the Baltimore Colts defeat the Dallas Cowboys 16-13 at the Orange Bowl. Uh, Dallas linebacker Chuck Howley was the only losing player to win the MVP. NBA Finals, Luel Sindor and the Milwaukee Bucks sweep the Baltimore Bullets 4 to nothing. And of course, uh, Luol Sindor would later be known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. ABA Finals. The Utah Stars defeat the Kentucky Colonels four games to three. And of course, uh, five years later, the ABA would uh, fold, or at least they would uh, merge with the NBA. Uh, World Series. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates and Roberto Clemente defeat the Baltimore Orioles four games to three. Uh, Stanley Cup. Montreal Canadiens defeat the Chicago Blackhawks four games to three. NCAA football. Uh, Nebraska defeats LSU 17 to 12 in the Orange Bowl for the national championship. NCAA, NCAA basketball. Uh, UCLA defeats Villanova 68 to 62. UCLA was quite the powerhouse back then. Boxing Joe Frazier defeats Muhammad Ali in a unanimous decision at Madison Square Garden to retain the uh, heavyweight title. Golf Masters champ is Charles Cootie. U.S. Open champ is Lee Trevino. And he is also the British Open champion. And the PGA champ is Jack Nicklaus. Tennis. Wimbledon uh, men's champ is John Newcomb. And the Wimbledon women's champ is Yvonne Gulagong. U.S. Open champ is uh, Stan Smith for the men. Oh no, sorry, that's Stan Smith. <laughs> and the women's U.S. Open champ is Billie Jean King. Soccer. Ajax wins the men's Euro Cup. And Denmark wins the women's World Cup. And Evil Knievel jumps a record 19 cars in Ontario, California. And that was our look at the year 1971. Well, now let's look at Computer Space, created by Dave Nutting and associates in 1971 and it came in a really weird cabinet and the cabinet came in uh, a number of different colors and here is the control panel uh, we have a missile button a thrust button a rotate counterclockwise button and a rotate clockwise button there's a 25 cent coin slot coin return and start game button well, this is a screenshot of the arcade version of Computer Space, and unfortunately, I don't have the arcade game or anything quite close to it. I did run this on an emulator, and even though the font looks different, it plays uh, very much the same. What you do is you control a rocket, 
at the computer controls two saucers and you just try to shoot each other. And we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, this is through the emulator. And uh, I am that rocket there. And I just got shot. And the computer controls two saucers. And then I just shot the saucer. You can control your missile. You can turn the missile as it's fired. And you can direct it into the enemy. You can shoot either of the uh, saucers to get a point. And you see the, the top digit on the right is my score. You can only shoot one shot at a time. The next uh, digit down is the computer's score. And at the bottom is the timer. It counts up from 0 to 99, I believe. But uh, you can get extra time if you are ahead. You will get uh, one extra uh, game, basically. And uh, even if you lead the computer after that second uh, session, then the game will end. In, uh, in this emulator, which is called Ironic CPU Space Emulator, computer space, um, you can use uh, the WASD keys, the IJKL keys, uh, the arrow keys, uh, whatever, to uh, control your ship and fire. Yeah, I lost that one. We're going to uh, play again. I think we're going to play a couple times. But, um, yeah, my suggestion, if you go with the uh, ironic computer space emulator, go with, uh, go with the arrow keys and press W and S to fire and thrust. Yeah, you don't move very fast when you, when you use thrust. And note that uh, your shots, and you, and the enemies, and their shots can go wrap around through the other side. It just takes a little while to learn to uh, direct your shots. I eventually got better at this game. This plays very similar to uh, the arcade version of Computer Space. It's just that the font on the right is different, and it's uh, blue-hued instead of white, black and white completely. But the uh, computer's pretty good at shooting at you. I had not seen this in arcades that I remember. I was born in 1971. That was way too early to remember uh, arcade games of that year. I didn't really start playing uh, arcade games until probably the mid-70s. And I was playing the uh, black and white driving games at that time. Yeah, the digits change to uh, letters once you pass uh, 10. Yeah, I started getting much better at this game at this point. Uh, for its time, this was actually not too bad. I, um, I remember, uh, Barely Pong. That was the one that got all the attention in the early 70s, and I thought this was more interesting than Pong. Yeah, <laughs> I'd better shoot him there. I was really close. Uh, but computer space really did not get much success in the arcades. Yeah, this plays very similar, so if you're looking for an arcade emulator of this game, check out, um, 
check out the uh, Ironic Computer Space Emulator and you can play it uh, online. And then I used uh, Bandicam to capture a, a video clip of it. Not a, not a bad game for 1971, goodness. Well, I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Uh, after this, I will get back to the ColecoVision series. I will have one last video before I get to number one. I'll do a video of uh, good games that didn't make the cut, you know, honorable mentions, uh, games to avoid, stuff like that. But I just wanted to uh, celebrate my 1200th video. And I wanted to try to go way back in time to the year of my birth and check out some of the some of the events and stuff that happened of that year. Ow, oh, he just barely got me. Yeah, the computer's pretty good at aiming, even as their uh, saucers are moving away from you or moving off the screen. Just have to learn to uh, guide your shots. Ooh, he just missed me. Oh, and he turned just in time to get away from that shot. But remember, your score is at the top on the right. Eh, their score is just below that. You can collide with each other, and you'll each get a point. And then the timer is at the bottom, and you get like 100 seconds or 99 seconds. And if you're... <laughs> dang it. If you're in the lead after the time is up, then you get another session. Hey, I timed that just right. But yeah, uh, Google uh, Ironic Computer Space Emulator to uh, get uh, gameplay that's at least close, because other than that, it's not emulated in any other emulator that I know of. Not uh, the cool uh, dice emulator and not uh, in MAME. Yeah, your shots will not travel as you do. You'll have to uh, get used to uh, turning to maneuvering the shots into place. Now, I definitely had not heard of this when I was real little. But I, I find it more interesting than Pong, and Pong got so much more success in the arcades than this game. It was such a weird cabinet. But this is Computer Space, created in 1971 by Dave Nutting and Associates. I like doing these uh, special flashback uh, episodes. Like I said, I was born in 1971, uh, so there wasn't a lot I was able to be aware of uh, things that were going on in the world in 1971. Yeah, the score gets kind of weird. The scoring kind of gets weird after you uh, wrap over from the uh, from the uh, letters. I I know I got more than a, a one one tie over the computer, but that's all that's uh, being displayed here. But that is computer space, created in 1971 by Dave Nutting and Associates, the very first arcade video game. Kind of similar to the earlier computer game Space War, which would later see an arcade iteration under the name uh, Space Wars. I think it might have also been just called Space War. But then uh, Atari did a, a copy of it called Orbit. But this was Computer Space, created by Dave Nutting and Associates in 1971. Like I said, the very first arcade game. 
the, or the very first arcade video game. Well, I thank you for watching uh, my look at Computer Space by Dave Netting and Associates in 1971. Really funky cabinet. <laughs> but I also thank you for joining me on my look at the year 1971. Well, I will return soon with my look at the uh, honorable mentions list and games to avoid lists for uh, uh, the ColecoVision. And after that, we'll look at my number one game for the 20 from the ColecoVision series. I thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. I hope you are staying safe and practicing social distancing and all that stuff. And I will see you later. Bye-bye, folks.